Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark Mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up Design Spark Mechanical to draw it with four viewports. Now normally, um, when I uh, create a part in Design Spark, I'll use one viewport, which is this. <coughs> excuse me, which is this uh, view here. So to do it with four, you'll come up here to Display. You'll go over to Split, and then you'll select four viewports. Now the nice thing about this is uh, you go, you can go ahead and create your part. We'll create a small part here so I can demonstrate. Um, you can go ahead and create a part, and then you're having your, uh, you're going to have a 3D view. You're going to have your top view. You're going to have your side view, and then you're going to have your right side view. So uh, it's pretty handy to have this this way. Let's go to point from center because uh, you can create your part, and then you can kind of see what's going on in the other windows here. And then when you go to 3D mode, let's go to um, draw a circle here. Let's extrude this so we get some uh, views here. So what you could do is click in there and we'll extrude this up so we have a little bit of thickness to it. And now you have a uh, top and then you have a uh, 3D view which you can move just like any of the other windows. You could use pan and this will move it down. And then you could zoom. This will zoom in on the part. You want to you go uh, a little bit uh, bigger to work with and then you have your side view here and it shows you when you click where what you're clicking on so this is this is this view over here so this would be your side and then this right here is going to be this piece here so this is going to be your right your right view and if you came up here and you did your right view you would get that <clears throat> so and now you can change the views in the viewport by just being in the window. So we'll go back to top. So you can see I moved this one. So if you want to set it up this way, it's really easy to just display. And then you go to split and then you select four viewports. If you want to take it back, you just go up to one and that'll put it back to here. Um, but we'll go back to the four viewports for now. So what I like about this is, uh, Kind of gives you a um, gives you kind of a um, rhinoceros 7.0 view. Uh, that program has four viewports, and Moai 4.0 has four viewports. So it's kind of nice to get used to drawing in this kind of a way. A lot of the 3D modeling packages now have uh, they have uh, four views. So you know you go ahead and draw on the top here. Uh, and then you could do your pull over here in this window. <clears throat> then if you wanted to add something here, you could you could go ahead and like a like a maybe like a uh, circle. You could go ahead and add it over here, and then you could add one over here. Then they show up over here. And then you go ahead and go to pull. Now you could go ahead and pull these through on this window here. You want to draw something on here you can go ahead and zoom this window so go to zoom and then it's kind of click and drag and then just pan over in this window <clears throat> now you could draw something here if you wanted to uh, maybe draw like a square the pine from center and then we'll go ahead and <clears throat> we'll go ahead and pull that And then you could uh, rotate. <coughs> Excuse me. You could rotate this, this for you to see what you're doing, and then you can see it here. Um, and if you click on the actual box, you're going to see over here. You're going to it's going to show up. Like you see that little line there. That's showing you where that is, and then it shows up over here too. <coughs> so, so you got that there that you can do. Um, and then you can go ahead and do your, you know, add your fillets here. 
and then the show it's going to show the top <clears throat> it's going to show you 3d view and then it's going to show the side view here and then right side view uh, this is a good this is kind of a good way to learn um, it's kind of kind of odd sometimes you know especially if you're drawing in a program like uh, blender or uh, um, Moai 4.0 or Rhinoceros 7, it automatically gives you the four viewport windows, but you can specify one in all those programs. So, um, you know, if you're new to those kind of programs, it's, it's sometimes better to have the, have a four views out here because then you kind of get more of a sense of uh, what's going on. You know, like if you have to uh, put something over here, like you have to put a circle there and then um, if you have to move that circle you could do it there if it's a uh, 3d if you needed to rotate this you could um, it's easy in each one of these views you can kind of see what's what's going on you can see that we rotated that up let's undo and then um, if you wanted to draw over here, um, you could do the same thing there. You could go ahead and go to move, and then you could rotate that. Rotate it this way, 90 to 80 degrees. Now you have a now you have a shape there. And then if you wanted to pull that, you could both sides. You have that pole that just came through there. No, undo, undo. It's a couple of undos. I think I needed to move this to 90 degrees this way. I had it at 80. Let's just type, actually undo that. Let's just type in 90. Oh, 90 there, and then we'll pull both sides now you have a piece there so all your views um, are showing you what's what's going on if we just put a, a, a pole through there or a little round pin shows it shows you the pin over here shows you the pin here and then it shows you the pin here so if you had to move this pin over, uh, you could. It'd be easy to do it. Maybe in this view, here you could select just the pin, and then you could go to your move, and then you could just drag it over here like this. So if you wanted it to be right in the center, you put it there. If you wanted it to be over here, you could do that. Or if you wanted to copy that, you could cut control C, control V, and then you could just drag it over here. This kind of gives you a better idea where that pin is in relationship to stuff. And then if you have to move this over, you could do that. Just grab that, move it over. Kind of gives you a better idea what you're looking at. And then you have this kind of part here. So, um, and all these, all these uh, windows or these viewports, they call them, you could move stuff around, you could zoom in, uh, you can move this around, you could rotate it, <clears throat> you could move this here. Can't rotate these, obviously, because they're not, it's not a 3D view, but um, you kind of want to keep them like this. So this is just telling you what's going on with your part. And if you wanted to put something else in here, you could do it in the top view. And then you could extrude it over here, and then you could move stuff maybe in this window. Um, and then if you want to go back, if you're if you're all done with that with your part, done with drawing your part, you want to go back. You just hit display. Uh, you come over here to split, and then you go down to four view, or you go down to um, sorry one viewport. Now you're back to this view, and then you could uh, come up here and just change your view to uh, isometric, and then you have the three. You have the isometric 3D view, um, and also you, your um, the options are to 
have uh, two horizontal viewports as well. So this is kind of interesting to work here because if you, if you need a top view, uh, you can do all your work here on the top. If, it, if it's a type of part that has a lot of stuff on the top, you could work here. And then you could do this as your 3D view. And this is going to show you what you're doing. And you could change all of these, these viewports. Like if you have two, you don't have to have this top one on top. You could actually go and move it to uh, a left view. Or uh, it all depends on what you're working on. Like if you're working on the bottom of the part, uh, you could move it to the bottom so it's easier for you to work. And then you can see what's going on with this 3D part here. Or you could move it here to the front. Or if you have stuff that you're putting on the front of the part, then you could move it this way. Um, or you could do uh, over here, you could go to split and go to the vertical viewports, which puts them this way. And then you can adjust the, the, the window. Just drag the window in here. So if you wanted, if you were doing a part that had a lot of detail in it, you could blow this one up. And then you could maybe move over if you just needed it to be smaller, you needed this one to be bigger. That way it shows you more uh, what, what's going on over here. This is more zoomed in. And then you have two, so you don't have to keep going back. And then um, so you can always do change uh, the parts. So you go back to top. Now we have a top view. And then when you're when you get tired of working in this mode, you, you have the option to go back to the one viewport. Uh, and that's kind of a that's kind of um, limiting sometimes because uh, every time you either have to um, you either have to spin the part which is what I do quite a lot to kind of see what you're doing. Or you have to come over here and change to the isometric view, or you have to change to the front to see what's going on there, or to draw something on the actual uh, your geometry. If you wanted to go to the right, you have to put see what's going on here. Maybe we need to put something in here. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. But if you do the, um, the display and then, uh, split body, two horizontal viewports, then you, you can see what's going on here. And then you can rotate this. Um, you know, if you wanted to rotate that a little farther over so you could see this, then you could come in here. Maybe you need to put something in this right here. Now then it's, uh, you're going to see it over here. We could see here maybe we're doing a couple of pins or something then you could go back to pull now you have these right here and you could zoom too you could do control plus on this but keep in mind that it's going to it's going to go to the window that you have something active on so if this is active then you, if you do a control plus control plus it's going to zoom into this and then if you do control minus it will zoom out and then if you need to get closer to this like right now i have to get closer to this part because it's hard for me to select that so i can do control uh let's say control minus we have both active now let's click on this piece right here control plus and now it's easier to select what you need to select and then we can actually pull this pull these little pins out here so, and then we could spin this, see what, it, what, we're, what we're looking like. Okay, and um, we're going to go back to our uh, single viewport, split, go to one viewport, and then we can just control minus out there. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on Design Spark Mechanical on how to draw in four viewport mode, two viewport modes, horizontal and vertical, and how to zoom in, how to uh, uh, change the, the each of the windows to, to different views top view front view back view right side view left view and isometric view okay hope you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video thanks again for watching